That's right, folks. We're going to be continuing our Adam Wolf adventures. We're going to be playing episode number three, Lady and the Painter. Let's go ahead and start this up. What the? Why are we on top of this bridge? 18 hours earlier. Would we like an interactive tutorial? Ah, uh, sure. Special features only. Thank you very so much. So, you want to know more about the Timeless? They, uh, they're always listening. Come closer. Okay, so <laughs> I love this scene. This scene, let me talk to you about what I love about this. One, the shimmer on the wine glass. Two, the wave of her very long hair. Three, the tattoos. Four, the frothy pints of beer. And five, the smoke from the cigarette. Wow. What? He has a mohawk too, that's cool. I would love to have a cup of tea, if you don't mind. The symbols on my hand represent endlessness. Listen. The symbol comes from an ancient and secretive cabal. But my watch is brand new. How is this even remotely connected? I don't know, but not even demons and spirits are safe from them. You can see why I'm not in any rush to get involved. Mm-hmm. Okay, symbol, watch, and demons. There is a painter, used to be a big shot artist. His home is the only other place where I've seen this symbol recently. Here, this is a recent photo of his house. I must warn you though, you may witness some strange stuff. Too late, we already have witnessed lots of strange stuff. These endless had something to do with my sister's disappearance. For now, that artist was my only lead. It was time to pay him a visit. Let's do this. Can we have your car keys too? We still need to talk about your involvement with the cult. Oh yeah, there's that. Oh wait, where did our two buddies over here go? Hopefully they weren't listening in on our conversation. I'm not really sure I want to right now, or that... You'll be able to later. See you around, Adam. Maybe. Definitely. I'll take car keys. What else can we take? Just look at how shiny that is. Dez is being dodgy, but what he really knows, I doubt that pushing him will have any results. Where did our friends over here go? Ask the painter about the symbol, go to the house of Roz Robertson, once famous painter, and inquire about the strange symbol on Adam's watch. Okay, so we don't actually have a map yet. No, can't use the map right now. So this is uh, where we were in the last episode. Looks like it's just a clear uh, sequel. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Okay, we have to open up our GPS application. Motorcycle. His whoa, house was in a quiet whoa. neighborhood. Speaking of Mr. Mohawk, hello, Mr. Mohawk. Des told me that this is a recent photo of the place. I wonder why it became so run down so quickly. I should first compare the house. 
It's all broken. Um. Okay, how many differences are there? Well, for one, this dude is here. That's actually a bush that's all wrecked. Would have been nice if it actually. Dez told me that this is a recent oh. photo of the place. I wonder why it became so run down that fast. Okay, Mr. Stranger, why are you here? Hey, man, what's with the photos? Yeah, seriously, dude. What's it to you? I can take photos of whatever I want. I just like the look of old buildings. It's a free country last time I checked. <laughs> creepy guy is creepy. I love how the tree is swaying. Look at that. It looks so good. Let's go to the As house. As I walked towards the house, the air around me became freezing cold. Never a good sign. Whoa! It almost hit me. Now I really want to know what's in there. What the heck was that? What the hell is going on here? This can't be good. Mr. Artist. Oh, there's a the painting our... on the canvas had the symbol on my watch, as if the flying objects weren't enough. Time for some answers. Hello there, sir. I don't know who you are, son, but if you came to see a broken man suffer, you've come to the right place. Levitating objects? It's either telekinesis, mental manipulation, or you have a restless spirit in the house. Restless, departed wife, Lisa. My love, my life. I don't know why she returned, but it's clearly her. I can help you with that, Mr. Robertson, but I need you to tell me all you know about that symbol you painted. Wait a minute. I recognize you. You... You're that Adam Wolf fellow. The supernatural detective. You have yourself a deal, son. Just tell me why my wife is haunting this place, and I'll tell you everything I know about that blasted symbol. You know, the interesting perspective that they've chosen here, uh... Normally they just show, like, the characters sort of straight on, but this, like over the top view is interesting. This was a typical ghost manifestation. The go-to procedure was to take a few photos for spectral analysis. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and use our photo. Snag that photo. One more, please. Let's see what else we got here. Uh... Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I see. We gotta get the ones that are down here. We got this. And uh, let's go here. Uh, now, what does that mean? We got that one. Okay, that's one definitely that we want. And then one more. This one here. It's a picture. Pieces of a picture. I'm guessing it's the lovely wife. Whoa! These look like parts of a wound's face. I better check my database. Notice! Spiritus! Banshee! A ghostly creature that died, a tragic death, they haunt loved ones directly linked to their demise. They manifest by creating strange lights and making the objects in their vicinity fly. Also plants in their proximity wither and die. Aha! That's why the bush outside is all dead. I'm gonna put her back together again like Humpty Dumpty. 
This must be the spectral residue coming from Lisa. She came back as a banshee, it seems. Break the objects that the banshee prize most in life. I'm sure Ross would know what that object would be. You were right, Mr. Robertson. Your wife has indeed returned as a banshee, a restless spirit. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Do you know how she died? Was it a violent death? She was murdered, Mr. Wolf. The police claim it was suicide, but I know my Lisa better than that. We'll find out how she really died and why she's returned. But I need something for her she was really fond of to contact her spirit. That's easy. It was the brush I gave her for our anniversary. Her most favorite thing in the world. That's how I first saw her spirit came back. The brush started flying around and then shot straight through the window. It's probably still outside. I couldn't get myself to go look for it. I was getting close. That brush would let me contact Ross's wife, Lisa. Then I could get some answers about that symbol and its connection to my sister. Let's go back outside then. Whoa, 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 whoa. Camera. What the hell, bro? <laughs> Dude, why are you standing so close to the door, bro? Ooh, he's got some sort of similar looking symbol there, doesn't he? If you hadn't had your head stuck to the door, this wouldn't have happened. How's that eavesdropping working out for you? Yeah, bro. Eavesdropping, bro. Hey, man, you've got the wrong idea. I'm out of here. How much would that camera actually be worth? There's something off about that guy. But there was no time to worry about him. I needed to find that brush. Let's use our special focus. Fire hydrant. Gargoyle. Window. Hmm. And the dream. The paint trail is getting thinner. It looks like the brush finished its flight here. So that's definitely last. Oh, wait. Paint brush trail. The brush flew out the window and hit the statue in the hydrant and fell through the grate. The grate is heavy. I can't move it with my bare hands. Let's use this bicycle chain. Using some physics here to do this. Oh, it's that kind of brush. I was actually thinking hairbrush. It's actually a painting brush. Okay, let's look behind our little friend here. Password left bar. And a cloth. It's a sewer hole cover here. Oh, a dude left his bag. Yeah, that's not suspicious at all. This is that tourist stash. He was obviously spying, but why spy on an old painter? Good question. Go ahead and dig through all his stuff. He's, this is probably worth like a couple thousand dollars. He just dropped it and ran? I don't think photographers would do that. Fly, envious time, till thou run out thy race. Call on the lazy, leader stepping hours. So little is our loss, so little is thy gain. Hmm. All sorts of goodies there. Go back inside. Dude, here's your wife's brush. Here's Lisa's brush, Mr. Robertson. This may be hard for you, but you have to break it. Break it in five pieces. Break it? Why on earth would I do that? My poor Lisa adored this brush. Exactly. To contact her. It's the only way. The breaking of an object she cherished the most by the person she loved the most will pull her spirit into our reality. Unless she did love him the most. You'll be able to get your answers then, Ross. I 
I guess you know these things better than I do, Mr. Wolf. I will do as you ask. For Lisa. Glad to hear that. That did it, the Banshee, Lisa, she's trying to communicate with us. Lisa's paintings, she never finished them. Exactly, this is how she's trying to communicate with us. I think she's trying to do it through her paintings. Then, I guess I better finish them. We'll need the things she was trying to paint for reference. These pearls, I saw them somewhere in the house downstairs. I'll find them. You stay next to the paintings and keep the link with Lisa. We have to find Lisa's pearls. 